Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome back to We in France. I'm Diane. And today we're talking about your upcoming trip to France and the little things you need to pack that people always forget. Now, a few of them are for while you're on the plane and the rest, they're going to come in handy when you're actually in France and out and about. So to better be prepared, you're going to want to listen up and let's go. Now, before I get into my list, most of the items I mentioned, they'd be great to have on a trip to Europe or anywhere, not just France. So most are not France specific, but they will absolutely make your trip to France a little bit better. And for those of you who want more information, I've linked everything I talk about down below in the description box. So check that out. And with that, we're gonna get into it. Okay, number one is an anti-theft bag or backpack, and I'll show you mine right here. And the truth of the matter is, no one wants to be pickpocketed or taken advantage of, so to protect your things with an anti-theft backpack, it's a no-brainer. You know, something from a brand like PackSafe, like mine, this bad boy, it's been all over the world, it's still going strong after about eight years, and PackSafe products, they all feature RFID blocking technology, lockable zippers, cut resistance straps, and, and all kinds of things that are based on anti-theft, you know? So they're a cut above a regular backpack, so I absolutely recommend getting one to ensure that no one's getting into your backpack but you. All right, number two, you're gonna want a versatile scarf. Now, in France, a scarf, it's both fashionable and functional. And I like bigger ones. I have an infinity one here that um, can kind of double as a blanket on the plane if it gets a little cool while you're coming over. And then also one that, you know, depending on where you go, um, can act as a head covering, you know, if you, if you end up at a mosque or something like that. So this one actually loops around, but whatever you do, don't leave home without a scarf of some sort when you come to France. You'll find that even in the spring and summer, both men and women in France, they love to accessorize. Uh, with a scarf. So it keeps the neck warm. You never know um, in spring and in, in fall, you know, if the weather's going to be really cool or what. So just, just wear one. Uh, you could go with silk, cotton, uh, cashmere blends. They're all pretty common. And I would say go with a neutral color. Um, it's not that you'll never see a hot pink scarf, but you can't go wrong with a traditional black, gray, navy, that sort of thing. And another scarf I'd recommend, it's not this one. Um, I actually have one from Quince. It's a silk cashmere blend. I love it. It's currently at my dad's house in the U.S. and it's going to be coming with us on an upcoming trip to Alaska to honor my mom who passed away in October of 2021. But get yourself a scarf wherever you get it from. Just get one. All right. Number three, you're going to want to get an adapter with USB prongs. Um, and it's definitely one of those France travel necessities that should go at the top of your packing list. Get yourself an adapter and forget trying to figure out which one you need for which country and just buy a universal travel adapter um, that comes with a variety of prongs and USB inputs. And I find the USB plugs, especially in this day and age, uh, super handy because pretty much every device you bring with you to travel, whether it's your Kindle, um, your phone, your tablet, uh, everything like that, you're gonna need a USB plug and you don't really need a converter in this day and age. And that's gonna be all you need for France and beyond, you know, UK, EU, US, Australia. All right, number four, the WeVat app. Now, if shopping is the name of the game, you're gonna wanna download the WeVat app to your phone right now before your vacation, get it on your phone before you leave. And let me tell you how the VAT refund process works and introduce you to WeVat, a digital tax refund app that helps stores save money when they're on the go and they shop in France. And also thank you to WeVat for sponsoring this video. So first, if you're new to shopping in the EU, what is tax-free shopping? You've probably seen signs at the airport about getting a VAT refund and it can be a little confusing. So just to put it simply, the VAT stands for value added tax and it's automatically included in the cost of goods you buy in France and, and the EU in general. Um, so if you see 10 euros on a price tag, that's what you pay at the register. So for those of you who are non-EU residents, you know, you live in the US or elsewhere, you're over 16 years old, you have the right to get that VAT reimbursed. And this includes all kinds of items from various retailers, everything from clothes and jewelry to bags, watches, wine, cosmetics, all kinds of things. And with France's twice annual sales period coming up this summer called Les Soldes, it's a no-brainer to use the WeVat app. Now, there are two main ways to get this VAT refund, the traditional in-store refund and the digital way via WeVat. 
Now, the traditional refund, it requires you to show your passport to the sales assistant, ask for a refund form, fill out the form every time you buy something, and you can get between 8 and 12% refunded with a 100 euro minimum per store. Now, with the digitized method via WeVat, you don't need to do any of that to enjoy even a higher refund rate of 13%. All you have to do is download the app, like I said, before your trip, and then when you're out shopping and it's time to pay, ask the store for an invoice made out to WeVat. The app walks you through this very important step, so don't worry if your French skills aren't up to par. And then after you get each invoice, you scan it, you upload it to the app via your phone. That app generates a barcode that you scan at the tax refund kiosk at the supported departure points for validation before you head home. And then you can get the updated refund status via the real-time in-app tracker the day after your departure. It's pretty easy. And something else to note is that you also do not need to spend 100 euros or more at each store. With WeVat, it's a total of 100 euros over the course of your trip, which for most people is more than doable, which means you can combine your purchases from big stores, um, big luxury names like Gucci and Hermes, um, on the Champs-Elysees, or even smaller wine shops, chocolate shops, whatever, small boutiques, it's all valid. The only catch, if we want to call it that, is you do have to get the invoice, your receipt addressed to WeVat, but as I said, the app walks you through the process. Stores are obligated by law to issue an invoice upon request, and another trick for getting the invoice is don't mention the tax refund, otherwise they're going to issue you that traditional paper refund due to their commercial interest in the process. WeVat now accepts VAT refunds for online purchases as well, so if you're more of an online shopper like me, you can do that uh, before your trip or during your trip to France online, and you can check out all the info below via my link. You'll get more information, a link to download the app as part of your trip prep. So thank you again to WeVat for sponsoring this video. All right, next up is number five. You're going to want to get yourself a fold-up reusable bag. You never know when a reusable shopping bag is going to come in handy, so always have one at the ready just in case. And remember, in France, plastic or paper bags aren't free at the grocery store, so people bring their own. And a bag like this is super useful if you find yourself at a farmer's market. The one I like here is from Bagu. It's made of ripstop nylon, and it comes in all kinds of colors and patterns. And the best part, it's really light and it tucks up, like I showed you when I first took it out, into a little pouch, so you don't need a lot of space. But the good thing is this nylon, it supports up to 50 pounds, 5-0, so it's not a little dinky bag, and they're great in a pinch if you need to pick up a few things at the supermarket or for a quick shopping trip, wherever your, your trip takes you. All right, number six, compression socks. Now, when it comes to travel essentials for long flights, my Sockwell compression socks, they top my list. I will never, ever fly without compression socks ever again. And if you're prone to leg swelling and achiness, they make even more sense. You know, you're gonna make that a thing of the past with a pair of these beauties. And even if you don't have a problem per se, like I didn't have a problem, compression socks, they'll keep your legs feeling really fresh and, and ready for arrival, ready to hit the ground running and do all your touristy things. So I recommend them to everyone. Your legs are gonna feel amazing and sock well. They're my favorite. Number seven, you're gonna wanna get a reusable, refillable water bottle. You know, water's super expensive to buy, like if you're at the train station or out and about. So having your own refillable bottle like this one um, is a must. And not to mention, it's also more eco-friendly than plastic bottles. So I recommend filling it up before you leave for the day, pop it in your backpack. Um, water fountains aren't always easy to come by and you know, it's important to stay hydrated, especially in the summer. Um, mine specifically, it's from an Italian brand called 24 Bottles. I use the sports lid because, you know, the screw caps, gosh, you, I drop them like half the time. So this just pops up. You don't have to unscrew anything. This is stainless steel. And get yourself one. Next up, I have some Evian spray. These are nice to have. Are they must-haves? You decide. But, you know, you want to perk up tired skin with a few spritzes of, of Evian facial spray. You know, it has these little micro droplet mists. I don't want to waste it, but, you know... Evian water, it's gonna hydrate you, it's gonna refresh your skin, and uh, this thing is 1.7 fluid ounces, so it's a carry-on must for me. It gives your face a boost after a long day of travel, and it's great for setting makeup and uh, cooling off on a hot day, wherever you are, France or beyond. All right, next up is an air tag. If you've ever had lost luggage, you know it can get your trip off to a terrible start. So if you're an iPhone user, get yourself one of these bad boys, save yourself the trouble of losing your luggage, and just uh, have peace of mind. You just can 
Put one of these Apple Air tags in your luggage before you say au revoir to it at the airport, and you'll be able to see your luggage go from point A to B nice and calmly right along with you. And uh, the cost, I think they're under 30 bucks. It's definitely worth the peace of mind. And the best thing, Apple AirTags, they come in handy for like a million other uses. So you'll get your money's worth for sure, even when you're not using it uh, to travel. Next up, you're gonna wanna protect your hair in France. So I absolutely recommend Malibu Hard Water Hair Packets for hair. And if you spent any time in France, you're gonna notice that France, especially Paris, has really, really hard water. So to make sure I'm getting all that mineral buildup out of my hair, I use one of these guys. Um, you can bring some with you on your trip if it's extended or at least have one ready for yourself when you get home. You know, the treatment, it's like a powder. You just put it on your hair, super easy, and it's gonna save your locks from damage. And it's even more important if you have dyed hair or highlights. Hard water is gonna turn your hair from blonde to brassy really quickly. All that money you spent on it's gonna go down the drain. Not to mention hard water, it makes your hair limp, dry, and prone to breakage. All right, next up, uh, nice to have, is lactate pills. Now you'd think in a land that is known for cheese that you'd find lactate pills pretty much everywhere, but um, that's often not the case. So I often have to order them at my pharmacy because they aren't in stock. And I've even, really, I've even had to explain in detail to pharmacy employees what they're for. So if you're sensitive to dairy products and plan on indulging in cheese and other wonderful French products, as you do, definitely take note of, of what I'm saying here because it really surprised me to learn that in France, lactate pills like these, they're not a super common item. Now, are people less lactose intolerant in France? I don't know, but I feel like the lactase enzyme pills Lactate brand or whatever you have, they are less mainstream in France. And like I said, not all pharmacy employees are going to be familiar with them. And get this, my French uh, lactate pills that my pharmacist uh, ordered for me, they were about two and a half times the price of the U.S. equivalent. So if you're not used to eating a lot of dairy, even if you're not lactose intolerant per se, I definitely recommend bringing a bunch of these lactate pills with you from home. You know, better safe than sorry. They're not going to hurt you. Better to have them on hand before you feel your stomach starting to blah, 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 rumble around. So just one thing, uh, everything I mentioned here, it's of course optional. No one needs everything I mentioned. You can absolutely get away with less. I want to be clear about that. But the way I look at it, when travel is already stressful and chaotic, why not make your life as easy as possible? I own and use everything that I've mentioned here, as you saw. And the last thing you want to be is caught off guard and in need of something that you wish you'd brought with you. So that said, not everyone travels the same way. Uh, we don't all care about the same things. We don't have the same personality and needs. And we certainly aren't going to go to the same place on the trip and have the same type of travel. So definitely take your personal needs into consideration. Uh, before you decide what's a must-have for you personally. And also, if you want to get into some fashion-specific tips with a few of my favorite items to pack for your trip to France, as well as kind of learning facts from fiction when it comes to what French women wear and maybe what you want to wear in France, I do have a blog post uh, with exactly that info. It's called uh, My No BS Guide to How to Dress in France. And that's linked below. So check that out. And for even more practical tips to make your trip to France a breeze, I do have an e-guide, just a few bucks. You could check that out via the link below. It's uh, titled 75 Beginner France Travel Tips for a Standout Trip. And um, with that, I'm going to leave it here for today. Thank you again so much for being here and uh, see you back on We in France soon. Salut!